Hey guys, it's Ross Scott and on Space Coach Day, we're going to take a look at the Scrum Rats. Yeah, the underlings of the White Worm Gang on Corellia. Now, that's Kira. Obviously, we looked at her previously. She's the head girl, commands Proxima's respect, but she's very wary of her as well. So let's see what this says. The Scrum Rats are the lowest of the underlings serving the White Worms. These orphans and urchins are plucked from the slums and given a meagre chance at survival by Proxima. For many scrum rats, progressing from lowly rat catchers or pickpockets to trusted thugs or guards is their most realistic goal in life. Now, we'll just have a look here about the infestation in the tunnels. The scrum rats earn their unsavoury name through the, through the vermin hunting duties that they all must undertake. The den is infested with vervix, scree rats and other unwholesome critters which the urchins hunt. Scrum rats bring the captures to Proxima's pools, where the choicest morsels are chewed up by the gang leader and fed to her baby worms. So let's have a look at this one called Ban C. There she's got that visor thing on there. Now let's see what this is. The battered pipe known as a rat hammer, and she also has a satchel for stolen parts. Ban C caught the eye of Proxima by being the best rat catcher among the girls of her age. She is mean-spirited and a tough fighter with a scrap pipe. Clever and humorless, Bansi has the rank of third girl among the scrum rats, but she's eager to climb higher in the gang. Next is Chates, this guy here. Let's see what this says. Portable holonet transceiver. The son of a farmer who was tragically killed by muggers during a visit to a coronet bank, Chates was left alone in the big city at a young age. He soon fell in with the scrum rats. Chates admires Rebolt, one of the White Worm's toughest thugs, and hopes to impress him by clobbering Han. Next we have Jaglio, and she is wearing a light filter headband also. Here. A former dancer, Jaglio has adapted her balance and coordination into a self-invented style of martial art. The nimble thief can shimmy into tight spaces. And now we'll have a look at Tunnel Toli with his valuable wires. Little Tolly earns his keep by slipping into utility wiring trunks and patching into power and data grids. This keeps the den connected to the rest of the planet. Now we'll look at Halon, who's got work goggles with magnifying glasses here. Young Halon can squeeze through narrow spaces to reach areas older thieves cannot. Against orders, he has been letting pests escape the den alive. Right, and now we'll have a look at Kostra and Lekelf. She's got Twi'lek Leku, and what's he got there? Comlink and Breather Mask. Loyalty has afforded these older scrum rats many perks. Kostra and Lekelf perch near the surface where they act as sentries for the den and can enjoy slightly fresher air than that found below the surface. Yes, so there you go. And there's Kieran, we have already re reviewed her. I'll just quickly run through that information again. Kira clawed her way up from the wasteland of the silo using her cunning to secure a profitable deal for Lady Proxima and earning the role of head girl. At age 18, Kira now commands the respect and the attention and respect of Proxima, if not her full trust. Proxima admires Kira's planning and strategy, but recognises a potentially threatening schema when she sees one. Proxa would now be no match for Kira, of course, in her current role as um, second in command of Crimson Dawn. But she obviously had the lock picking spikes in belt loops and a bracelet with a compass. So there you go, guys. That's just a look at the white worm scrum rats of Corellia from which Han and Kira both came. Both went on to much, much bigger things and left that gang far behind them. Although in Kira's case, and in Han's case, not the criminality. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment suggest what comment topic you'd like to see discussed. Or like the video.